But in general, when you just drop coins, they are what we call not stable, right? So uh, alternatively, I can take a coin and I can just kind of like drop it and it might balance for a second, but obviously it's not stable. Now, the interesting thing about this is if I do something to this coin before I let it go, then it becomes more or less stable. Let me talk to you about what that is. So here, if I grab this coin here and then just give it a little bit of rotation like this, then suddenly it is stable just by adding a little bit of rotation. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well, well, duh, we see that every day. But instead of just assuming, oh, that makes sense, that's, that's normal, let's talk about why is that the case. The main idea is that just like when you throw something in a straight line, we say it has momentum. And you might have heard that there's something called the conservation of momentum. It's a law of the universe. As far as we can tell, there's no exceptions to it that we've ever done an experiment and seen an exception of it. Right? Well, that's for a system moving in a straight line. There is an equivalent law called the law of conservation of angular momentum, and that applies to rotating systems. And all of these effects, like the stabilized coins, the stabilized Frisbee, the stabilized spacecraft, they basically all boil down to the conservation of angular momentum. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.